never convince people that it's uh, it's it's rubbish because it fits the model that Goebbels and and the Nazis understood. People believe a big idea. I'm sorry. People believe a big lie more than a than a, a small lie because it usually involves some fantastic, elaborate claim, and there is no truth to the claim that the Earth is hollow. The Earth is is at its centre, um, compressed hydrogen, in a, um, a super um, liquid state. Um, or almost verging on um, a superheated, almost a solid state. So it is under extraordinary pressure. And that is why um, our Earth um, is connected and relates to the Sun. Uh, I can't prove that yet, um, but that is, I believe, the answer to the core of the Sun. Oh, sorry, core of the Earth. Uh, that it's a child. Um, of the, so, uh, of the sun. Say that again. As if it's a child of the sun, with it being a heated core. Well, think of it. When when the nebula collapsed, that formed our solar system. The way to view it is like a shock wave. At the centre of the shock wave are the heavier elements, and on the outer are the lighter elements. So the shock wave, um, when the star is is born, um, sends a pressure wave out, and what happens is effectively the heavier elements envelop, and as they envelop, they envelop a core, and the core is hydrogen, lighter elements. So in the very formation of the Earth at the beginning of the solar system, at the point of the nebula explosion hydrogen and lighter elements were trapped and compressed as the heavier envelope collapsed on itself to form the planets. That's the logical conclusion. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That, that might take a little while to wrap our brains around there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we've had some great discussions tonight. Can we wrap up with a question here um, about the bringing together grand juries uh, within Acadia. Uh, what can be studied to understand how to establish grand juries in spiritual communities aligned with Acadia? That's a good question. Look, uh, I, I'm remiss in the sense that I'd hope that we'd have the frameworks of communities earlier than we do. In a sense, we're dealing with building the larger community first and the and the smaller communities are coming together because people, you know, people are coming together and connecting in local areas. The short answer is there isn't nearly the quality of material on grand juries there yet through Eucadia that I think um, it needs to be there. But there is quite a bit of very good material on the internet and through other groups on the very nature of grand juries. So I would say to anyone that wants to study the nature of what is a grand jury, and it tends to be a unique feature, as, as I'm sure you know, Terry, of the formation of the United States, that you do a Google and have a look at some of those other areas now if that's a topic you want to look at but there's nothing there yet on Eucadia on the study and structure of grand juries did you want to add something because I know this is something that comes from the assemblies and is a very big part of the assemblies on the functioning of grand juries did you want to comment um, well it's, I think it's going to require some study in your own areas um, and it's going to be uh, a good idea to go back and do that, uh, the history as well as the, um, you know, the standing and the, the um, where where that comes from, so that that can be brought into Eucadia correctly with the communities and the assemblies that are, are coming together as we speak and as everyone grows. So I yep. think that that's going to help everyone a lot. Uh, 
in, in doing that because each area is going to be slightly different. So it's going to be um, a good idea to have that, a little bit of study done there on the history. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what's, uh, what's happening is I mean, we've got the canons that are being structured, which is the foundation, and that's taking time, obviously. We've got mm -hmm. people's needs right now and remedy, and that's coming through. Tonight you've heard from a number of people who are contributing brilliantly in different aspects to it and, uh, and other honourable mentions. And then you've got the interim, which is the structure of the delivery of the remedy, where we talk about grand jury societies um, and, uh, and those structures, which is still being evolved. So it's still a work in progress in all those areas, and I would love it all to be done and, and ready. It's, it, it's not, but uh, there's plenty to read, there's plenty to study, and, and as you can see, those that have taken the knowledge away studied it and adapted it, which is why it's there to, to do, have, have produced results. And I think that if we're leaving tonight with the theme that's been tonight, because people can prove that they have achieved results, even in the darkest of times now, using this information, we should uh, give ourselves hope that if we do study and do learn, everything is and will be okay. But if we use our powers and our abilities wisely. So let's finish on that because that's the theme tonight. Well, Frank, I, yeah, I, I agree. I think that's a, it's a great place to finish. But I, there's something that has just really, really caught my attention. It's, I, it's been on here three times and our guests uh, may not have, understood how to pose the questions so that we would catch them. And I think this one is even better to end on. Can we talk about the Jubilee and what it means to the supreme financial system of Eucadia? This is the uh, supreme financial system and what part? I missed that word. Sorry, Terry. The... <clears throat> Can we talk about you know, the meaning of Jubilee? Um, oh, and, Jubilee, uh, absolutely. And what it means for, yes, to the supreme financial system of Acadia and how we're moving forward. I think this is an excellent question. Yeah, look, the, the, the point is, the point is, is that we've been living in a system that has been based on the monetization of sin since the beginning of the financial accounting that we call today bookkeeping and accounting. And that system, because it has been based on the monetization of sin, has then promoted a world awash with sin. And what we see with the supreme financial system and the concept of Jubilee is that we are balancing the world and bringing the world back into balance by offering credit to balance out the debt. And under the system of credit, we are effectively creating the jubilee that was promised. That it's not that people's obligation cease. An obligation of performing on a loan and a promise continues, but the underlying curse the underlying negativity, the thing that entraps us, the thing that keeps us distracted from the world, those things must be addressed and healed. So Jubilee is a very, very important issue for us. And in fact, the concept of the great conclave every 120 uh, years is in fact a recognition of, of a great Jubilee that needs to bring things to alignment and forgiven. But that is exactly what we're doing with credit. All the credit the world will ever need for the next 127 years has already been created through the supreme financial system. And the only reason it hasn't yet been turned on is that the rules through the canons are still being completed to make sure that when it is turned on, that the law, not Franco Collins, not Terry Lynn, not anyone here is going to be judging and arbitrating on that system. The law itself will tell you exactly how that system manages. So I hope I answered that okay, Terry, but 
yet jubilee and forgiveness is a critical thing and it is time really i think to end and that's what we've said with benedict the end of the monetization of sin that is part of the package that's gone out for this sunday in fact uh, that's part of the, the message that we sent Wow, that's that's great. It is a great place to wrap up, and uh, I'd like to just thank everyone for their questions and for for their participation tonight. And also, if we skipped over any questions, please write them down and bring bring them back to us next week. And I apologize for not getting to them. And Frank, thank you for spending the extra time with everyone tonight and uh, going through as many questions as we possibly could. And uh, I think this was uh, wonderful. If you have anything else to wrap up with, uh, we can. No, I just, just, just thank you. Look, thank you, Terry, and, and and thank all of you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for the support. Thank you for for embracing this as rightly your idea, and our idea. Um, you know, it gives me the the encouragement and the and the strength to to see what I've got to finish off. And I look forward to, to covering really uh, the launching of the cognitive law and then uh, really getting into it and allowing people, once it's there, to dive in and, and, and uh, let's, let's refine it. Let's make sure it's there and moving forward. So thanks again for everybody. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you, Frank, and have a wonderful day. And uh, we really appreciate everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're back on for next week. Is that correct, Frank? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, all right. Uh, next week on Wednesday night for the Eastern, for the States, 9 p.m., and uh, that's Eastern time. So we'll welcome everyone next week, and thanks for joining us tonight. And with that, we'll call it a night. Thank you. Blessings, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Frank. Blessings to everyone. <laughs>